Hello everyone. I'm currently working on another complicated uh, differentiation pr uh, problem, you know, math, for a video in the future, but I haven't finished working it out yet. So, uh, this time, not a math problem. Instead, it's going to be question number eight in the book of questions. Uh, I'm going to try not rambling too far off topic on this one, but you know how this stuff goes. And anyway, question number eight goes, if you could anonymously and safely destroy any one person's reputation online through various postings, would you? If so, who and why? I don't think I would. Uh, and I think the reason I wouldn't is it's too much effort. And uh, I don't know that I, I don't want to deal with the feeling like a heel afterward. Uh, I'm not saying that I don't have it in me to be a right bastard, but uh, I don't think I would do this anonymously online. Uh, now, if there was an easy, fast way of doing it, I might do something like this in the moment. And I would feel horrible afterward, even if it was my worst enemy. Uh, but right now, there isn't anyone that I would want to destroy like that. Uh, there, there's nobody I, I feel annoyed enough with to try to destroy the reputation. It, it's just, it, it's, it's not something that's come up. Oh, sure, I've thought about something like that a few times, but I've never really come to the, the conclusion that I really want to do that. Now, I, I'm not saying this because the question, because the what the question is suggesting is impossible. Um, it is actually possible to do today. It's not something, and it was possible to do in 2013 when this book was, uh, this edition of the book was was uh, done. Uh, it is possible to do this. And it happens accidentally or intentionally, occasionally, online already. Uh, sometimes people end up doing it to themselves. Uh, but uh, really, it is possible. It just takes some planning and a lot of effort to do it anonymously. Because uh, you have to be very careful that you don't leave traces behind. But it is possible. The more resources you have, the more possible it is. Uh, the more likely it is you'll be able to get away with it if you're careful about it. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to do it. Uh, I haven't investigated how to do it, and it would be totally foolish to put, put up a how-to and how to destroy someone's reputation. But I will say it generally involves basic human psychology and enlisting the teeming masses to unknowingly carry out your dirty work. I won't tell you how to do that. A little bit of looking around on the interwebs, you'll figure it out for yourself. It's not not complicated uh, to figure out how to unleash the teeming masses on someone. There's lots of examples of it. Lynch mobs are an example of it in the real world. Uh, you know, you get a group of people together to lynch somebody. That's exactly the same effect uh, but a little bit more immediately deleterious to the victim. Mobs that are rioting mobs are the same effect again. Um, now, I don't think anybody is immune to that herd effect, that mob effect. Uh, though I think smarter people that tend to think things through more are less susceptible to falling into that. But I don't have anything to back that up. I'm sure some psychologically minded person will, if they watch this, will jump in and, uh, you know, scream at me and set the record straight. Or they'll be sitting there twitching too violently to do anything about it, one way or the other. But uh, realistically, nobody's immune. So what I really want to say as, as a... Uh, as a uh, uh, related thing for this question is that the next time 
you read something that gets you riled up and you feel like you need to jump on the bandwagon and vilify some particular person or group on the internet, like jump on the Twitter or, or Facebook or, or what have you, uh, the next time you feel like that from reading a tweet or a Facebook post, step back and think about it. Uh, because odds are pretty good you're falling into that mob mentality. Remember, just because a bunch of people say something, it doesn't make it true. Uh, I could... I could set up a rumor that forest fires are caused by glaciers falling off a mountain. And if I could get enough people to say that, I could probably convince a fair number of people that it's true, even though it's patently ridiculous. There's no way a glacier falling off a mountain can cause a forest fire. At least not any reasonable way that I can think of. Uh... I suppose there's some weird outlier way it might be possible, but seriously, a block of ice falling off a mountain is unlikely to cause a forest fire. Vanishingly unlikely. So, uh, you know, that's an obvious one, you know. And there was a, I remember there was a commercial on TV in these parts uh, some years back, uh, which was all about critical thinking, and this is what I'm advocating here, critical thinking. Uh, you step back when you read something that gets you incensed and investigate. Look for the sources, the actual facts. So that commercial I was mentioning, it showed this absolutely brilliantly done uh, uh, docu in, in documentary style uh, wildlife video uh, with hippos uh, wandering around in a house and it had this spiel about about their habitat and the, their their behavior. And then after a while, it kind of pulls back and you get the spiel, well, that seemed really real, didn't it? Uh, if you really want to see this, it's probably up there on, on YouTube. Search for House Hippos. It, it's, it's a quick watch and it's brilliantly done. Uh, it highlights perfectly that you can't really believe something just because somebody says it. Uh, now, uh, you, might be, you might be tempted to accept with less question uh, a statement from somebody with some real or perceived authority on the subject. Uh, like quite often people will accept any random scientist statement about any random field of study, even if the scientist in question has no expertise in that field of study. So, uh, you know, you need to uh, actually vet everybody. Uh, let's, we can look at a, a recent example on that. Uh, there's that fellow from Google who uh, was fired, actually, for uh, releasing a uh, white paper or memo or whatever it was, we'll call it a memo, uh, in which he, uh, he, with sources, suggested that uh, perhaps uh, women weren't, uh, there weren't more women in the tech fields because women aren't interested in going into the tech fields. And he suggested that there is, in fact, a measurable difference in the average performance of men and women. And he backed this up with academic studies and cited them. Uh, yet, he never once said that women couldn't do these occupations. He never said that all women were incapable. He never said that all men were more capable. He never said that. Yet this is what mainstream and otherwise media outlets have been saying. They've actually said that straight up. And this is what's being repeated on social media, on forums, uh, on discussion threads, under news articles about it. This is the sort of thing that keeps getting repeated. And nowhere in his memo does he say anything of the sort. 
And that is, uh, is exactly an example of what this uncritical thinking mob mentality uh, does. And now, now that we have, have lots of people repeating what things, uh, the statements that this memo says X, even though it doesn't, more and more people believe that the memo says that, even if they haven't read it. Now, in this case, there's a, a cure for that misinformation. Read the bloody memo. And read what it actually says. Don't assume it says something and then read that into it. You have to read what's actually written. Don't assume that something that says Y actually means X because you believe that's obviously what he meant. Read what's actually written and see what it says. Oh, and by the way, don't take my word for what it says either. That's exactly the same problem on the other side of the fence. So, you know, check your bloody facts. Check them. Doesn't matter who says them. Some highfalutin scientist who maybe knows stuff, or your buddy Fred on Twitter. It doesn't matter. Check the facts before you act on them. Anyway, that's the big thing I wanted to say uh, as a result of this question. It's that you need to, it's that mob mentality that tends to lead to the effective character assassinations and so on online. And it leads to the same effect in, in real life as well. So let's be part of the solution to that and make this sort of thing less possible. If everybody, and yes, I know this is not going to happen, but if everybody fact-checked everything before taking action on things, it would become impossible, or at least very, 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 very difficult to conduct an effective character assassination online or in real life. But, of course, human nature, it's not going to change. So, or certainly not overnight anyway. So, uh, the best we can do is let's try not to fall into this mentality. Anyway, that's enough on this. Uh, obviously, the answer to the question was a simple no. Uh, but the point of this book of questions is to spark discussions. So the question's really a starting talking point. And going off topic, that's part of the fun of it, right? Anyway, that's all for this time. Uh, if you like the video or you don't, leave a like or a dislike. Yeah, I don't care which one. You know, if you didn't like it, you didn't like it. If you liked it, you liked it. Uh, it'll tell me that. Uh, whether if Even if it does, nothing else. If you want to be notified of future videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. That's the bell icon, I believe. Uh, obviously, if you don't have notifications turned on, you probably won't get notified of things. Who knew? And if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.